the Member State of the Year. Awarded tonight to the United Pullers of the Carolinas. Jimmy, if you would come forward. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it's always a pleasure. We've been with, uh, as long as I can remember, with the NTPA. Uh, I hooked my first tractor with the group that I'm with right now in May of 1980. So you figure how many years, yeah, that's what, 42, starting 43 years of running. So from our state, you're always welcome to come pool with us, and we thank you. Let's move on to the official of the year, presented by, presented by badgear.com, Nicholsville, Kentucky. This award acknowledges an NTPA official who has demonstrated excellence at their position. 2022 official of the year goes to Mr. John Myers. Well, I just want to thank everyone that was part of making this happen. Um, I guess it goes back to uh, 1972 when my parents first took me to Bowling Green and infected me with tractor pulling. Um, ever since then, I wanted to be involved with it, part of it, and thankfully I've been able to. And last, I'd like to thank my wife. Without her support, I wouldn't be able to do this. Thank you. Next up is a sponsorship by Speccast Collectibles out of Dyersville, Iowa. And this is for the Sled Company of the Year. And this year, the 2022 Sled Company of the Year, that award goes to the Iron Man Sleds, Von Bauer and Company, picking up the Sled Company of the Year. Uh, thank you, everybody, very much. Got a, um, very fortunate to have an awesome team back home that ain't with me this weekend. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Our mechanic of the year is up next. It's sponsored by Hazley uh, Machine out of Indiana. NTPA mechanic of the year for this year, 2020, is a man who's been pulling for 25 years, and that does not seem possible. Mechanic of the year, Jesse Petro. Jeez. Uh, thank you very much. This was. Uh, uh, Quite, uh, quite a surprise. Uh, in true uh, Randy Petro fashion, I was standing in the hallway drinking an alcoholic beverage. But um, <clears throat> so he would at least be proud of that. Um, but uh, no, in all seriousness, uh, uh, this uh, this award means a lot. Um, in my mind, I guess I should have been a little bit better mechanic to finish a little better this year, but uh, sometimes uh, parts breakage happens, and uh, that's part of pulling, as uh, most of we all know. But uh, I'd like to thank my mom and uh, Jess and the kids um, for all their support and, and time away. Um, i got to thank Joey. Uh, Joey does a great job um, with me having a full-time job. Joey, uh, he can get there and get started and gets a lot of things done, and uh, he does a great job for me. Uh, of course, Chad uh, also uh, really appreciate his help and support throughout the year. Uh, our crew guys, uh, Justin and Alex, Kyler. Um, it, uh, this is a, it's, uh, it's definitely different without my dad. Um, and uh, like, like I heard Doc say, you know, it's hard to hard for me to believe that I've been pulling 25 years and uh, to uh, have accomplished what I have is uh, is something I'm very proud of. And uh, I, I look forward for NCPA to continue to grow and the sport to continue to, to continue to get better. And uh, all that can be uh, can be possible with the help of everybody in this room and everybody behind the scenes uh, to continue to make this sport uh, what it is and and be even better than that. So everybody have a great holiday. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see everybody uh, hopefully in Louisville in a few months. It's the NTPA National Fan Cheer of the Year Award. And there's only one guy to do this. And that's that man right over there, Paul Webster. 28 years ago, when Dave, Dwayne, and I attended our first NTPA Awards Banquet, this right here, this program, was a great aid in helping us learn who's who in tractor pulling. 
It not only lists the current NTPA members and their achievements, but also the former members and their achievements. Over the years, as we have watched, other associations blossom and then fade away. This NTPA awards banquet program has remained, it's remained the most historically accurate record of top-notch pulling successes in print today. That's pretty special. Just like the pullers, event sponsors, sled operators, other manufacturers, and so many more, we at Sampico are proud and thankful to have our names listed and included with a, such a wonderful group of people. In truck and tractor pulling, the, most, the more fan recognition the vehicles have, the more important the pull becomes. With this in mind, this year's Fan Cheer of the Year Award is being awarded to the most successful vehicle, the vehicle in tractor pulling history. The most successful vehicle in tractor pulling history is about to celebrate its 63rd birthday. Over the last 35 years, its name and appearance have never changed. A short list of its significant achievements include never missing a grand national season since 1987 qualifying for 33 out of 35 potential year-end Enderleys and seven Enderley wins, the most Enderley wins for any individual vehicle. It has nine Bowling Green rings, the most rings for any vehicle, at the number one truck and tractor pull event in the world, and 12 Grand National End of the Year titles. It is our honor to recognize foreplay for being the most successful vehicle in tractor pull history. Will the Holman's team please come forward and receive this plaque for their foreplay vehicle? It has nothing to do with the driver or the team, it's a vehicle. And your award says foreplay Holman Brothers pulling team presented to Center Petroleum Company, but it is, and we're gonna make it a little bit different, it is for foreplay. What a vehicle, congratulations. <laughs> Of course, we're not prepared to receive the Fan Chair of the Year Award, so <laughs> I guess the rewards for the truck, uh, I don't know, I guess we stuck with it just because we're stubborn. <laughs> we, we talked about uh, building tube frames and replacing things over the years, and just, it's like an old family member, you can't, <laughs> can't let it go and can't put it to pasture. Yeah. It still does pretty good, so. We, we keep beating it. It's been a pulling truck a lot longer than it was a pickup truck. <laughs> Actually, it was a pickup truck from Kansas. Uh, what, when did you build it? 77, 78? 77, 78. We, Bill Armstrong and I transformed it into a modified pulling truck. Yeah, I never would have dreamed it. We would have got to this point. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks, Paul. Thanks, uh, Sempico, for the award and for the recognition. We appreciate it. The Crew Chief of the Year is sponsored by Midwest Wheel. This award acknowledges the person or persons who display teamwork, dedication, professional attitude regarding keeping an NTPA competitor on the track. The 2022 recipient of the Crew Chief of the Year this year, he's been up here tonight already, Mr. Brent Seacrest. Well, uh, I don't know what really to say about this other than it was a long, hard season. Like my wife said earlier, it was a, <clears throat> it was a season that didn't almost happen. And when I left for Toma, I had three hours of sleep in two days to get us there. And I spent all, basically all night wrenching on the truck got it back together. She had come home from work and uh, I said, I need to get about two hours of sleep before we head out to Toma. And let's say Thursday was kind of a blur when I got there. I didn't really remember a whole lot of that. But uh, it takes a lot to do to uh, keep a team going, like I said earlier. And my brother-in-law at home, Shane, he don't go with us no more, but he's there to wrench whenever we need it. Um, my nephew, Corey, Tweet, Tom, Judy, all them guys are there to help us out. And, uh, and once in a while, I gotta give my wife some pretty good lectures on how to drive, or, or <laughs> then she gives me lectures how I screwed it up, because it wasn't her fault. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. 
The Pulling Family of the Year, sponsored by the National Tractor Puller Championships in Bowling Green, Ohio. The F Pulling Family of the Year goes to someone that's got, in my opinion, a lot of forward thought, not only in the way he campaigns his vehicles, but probably the way he runs his, com his company. And it's my pleasure to be able to say the Pulling Family of the Year is the Mike Connie family. Mike? Hey, anyway, hey, well, I'm, I'm really surprised on that. I, I really am. That, Really, I'm honored. Uh, that means a lot to me. Uh, the family all gets together, as, as all of your families do. We all work hard. Uh, the grandkids and, the, and the, my daughter and my son-in-laws, and we work back at the shop, and we, we run a uh, company all over the country. We've got plants, and we're busy people, but we all come together, and we go pulling, and we really enjoy it. And Don is right there with us, and Julia is with us, and uh, it's just really an honor to, I, I, I'm shocked that I got this award because there are so many people out here that worked so hard and so many families. And it, this really means a lot to our family. And we love Poland and we'll be with you a long time. So thank you very much and have a happy new year. NTPA's Grand National Rookie of the Year. Sponsored by the Ambassador Club for Recovery Ohio. The 2022 NTPA Grand National Rookie of the Year award goes to and I was there when he won his first one. Mr. Grant Theobald. Yeah, whose dad is 50. <laughs> uh, wow, this award means a lot to me. Uh, if you would have told me I won this award after the, four hook, the first four hooks this year, I, I would have thought you were crazy. We were just about beating our head against the wall. Um, if it wasn't for the advice of uh, some of the competitors in our class, I wouldn't be standing here. Made some changes after... Uh, Toma went to Dodge City. Mom drove the tractor. I think we got third, some other place. We were happy. We didn't finish the bottom of the pack. Went to Chapel Hill. Got my first win. That was a dream come true. Standing up here is a dream come true. A lot of people I got to thank. Uh, this isn't just an individual award. It takes a whole team to be able to do this. First and foremost, I got to thank my mom and dad for giving me the opportunity to drive. Uh, it's a dream from you know playing with tractors playing tractor pull in my living room to be able to do this real thing now is pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of guys back at the shop, I got to thank. I got to thank uh, my brother, Mason, uh, dad, Doug, my grandpa, Keith, uh, Jan, mom, Renee, Josh Miles, Roger Williams. Uh, they all keep everything going back at the shop, especially this summer when I was at Purdue. I couldn't really help a lot, to be honest with you. I was pretty much hired gun. I showed up on the weekends, got in the tractor, and left. Uh, I need to thank Keith Horst. Um, just about before every poll, he gave me a piece of advice on what to do. Uh, that meant a lot to me. He's kind of like a mentor to me this year. Also, got to thank Chase Richardson. Uh, he taught me and Dad a lot about this class, from cutting tires to the basics of setting up a mini rod. Um, we're cut off now. No more advice because <laughs> now I'm kicking him. So uh, I'm probably forgetting a lot of people right now, but. It's just an honor to be able to win this award and drink them true. Thank you. The NTPA Commitment of Excellence and Dedication, sponsored and presented by Jim Miller and Melissa Graham, event producers. This Promoter of the Year uh, Award recognizes pull organizations committed to excellence and dedication. For 2022, we wish to recognize a promoter for their hard work toward the success of another great event. This one has also been with NTPA for a long time, first as a state-affiliated event, and then as a regional hook where it has frequently served as a season opener for various divisions. In the early years, the track was 30 foot wide with a tree at the starting line. Soon after having been attacked by a plow, its leaves scorched by the exhaust of pullers passing beneath, the tree was removed and the course was widened to 35 feet. But that was not the last of the obstructions. Just beyond the finish end was an embankment with the fair's name spelled in hedges on one side and a power pole guide wire on the other. These were not anything the competitors would encounter, but they made for quite an obstacle course for the track builder e equipped with the four-wheel drive tractor with triples and a 40-foot disc. One year, the Y on county might have gotten a little shorter. These days, there are no shrubs or guide wires as we lay out a 50-foot wide track. Every year as the season gets started, Jim reaches out to the promoters to touch base with them and discuss equipment needs. One time, Jim asked the promoter if he had a road grader to finish the track with. Nope, came the answer. 
While the morning of the pull, a semi pulled in with a grader on a trailer. The driver asked, is this where the grader is to be delivered? It was bought last night and I was told to deliver it here. The fair has also made many improvements over the years. The latest coming in 2022 with new concrete pads for both the scale and draw bar. And you can never count this pull out because of the rain. This group will do everything it can to make it happen. One year after a rain soaked fair week, we got the track in shape, but the infield was very soft with no place to park the pullers. No problem. The, puller le the promoter left only to return an hour later with a bulldozer. He pushed mud from the entire infield into a pile. Our first NTPA Commitment to Excellent and Dedication Award for 2022 goes to the Marion County Fair, Marion, Ohio, and organizer Kevin Criswell. I thank everybody out there. Appreciate the award. And just appreciate the opportunity to have the, everybody's help in the county fair and appreciate it. For the second award, among the greatest rewards of helping to present a late season NTPA event is the chance to crown the jubilant winners of national titles. Jim and I have the privilege to witness the end of many championship road in Wellington, Canton, and Sandwich over the past few years. But a pool that has for many seasons waved the checker flag for the tractor divisions in Region 3 is etched into the calendar on Sunday of Labor Day weekend. This site is a community center and a pop village of population 265. The contest has been ongoing for over five decades. The setting is a four-day festival that will celebrate its centenary in 2024. And the track is named for a resident of that community for all 98 of his earthly years and businessman and World War II veteran, Eldon Luer. Now I'll admit that we are pleased to have chosen this recipient of the award based solely on the fine reputation of this event. To my knowledge, I've never been to the village of Ridgeland, Wisconsin, nor passed through it while awake. All I know is when you type, in, type its name into a certain internet search engine, the third result is, what time does a Ridgeland tractor pull start? Now that's our kind of town. The second NTPA Commitment to Excellent and Dedication Award for 2022 goes to Ridgeland, Wisconsin, accepting by Mark Pising. I'm not part of the Ridgeland Tractor Pull Committee. I've pulled there a lot of years. I was trying to think how many years, but didn't come to me right away. As she noted, population 272, and it's well over 10,000 people are there during this event. If you've never pulled there, put it on your bucket list. It's just awesome. You've never seen a hill like this, and it's always a great track. People treat you great. And uh, on their behalf, thank you. The Larry Kester Humanitarian Award, presented by Shell Rotella's Chase Richardson. Larry Kester Humanitarian Award was initiated by Shell Rotella to memorialize the greatest ambassador the sport of pulling has ever known. His life trajectory, having been forever altered by injuries sustained in a mowing accident, Larry used his remaining three decades on this earth to entertain, entertain and challenge and inspire countless fans and fellow competitors. His boundless energy and beneficial partnership with the National Tractor Pulling Championships and Make-A-Wish Foundation brought forth an irrepressible and irreplaceable outreach to children and families. In Larry's memory, we recognize a deserving person who in their community, industry, or spheres of influence act to lift the spirits and improve the lives of others. Candidates must embrace the core principles that Larry Kester embodied so well. Confidence, conviction, dedication, giving, and respect. $10,000 donation to Make-A-Wish Foundation will be made in the recipient's name. That name, the Larry Kester Humanitarian Award for 2022 is Mr. Mike Connie of Alliance, Ohio. Wow, well, I'm really surprised. How am I not keep, be able to talk? I love that guy. First time I met him, my son-in-law was drinking too much. 
slurring his words and saying stupid stuff to Larry. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, if you all knew Larry. Larry was nothing but class. My son-in-law slept on a picnic table because he wasn't married to my daughter-in-law yet. <laughs> That's truth. You know who the first guy over, over to motorhome was in the morning was Larry Kessler. Wanted to meet my son-in-law. He woke up old Tate, and him and Larry talked, and, and they'd become friends for the rest of their life, for Larry's life. And... Uh, Larry Kessler was a, was a guy that just was a different guy. Now, you all know him. Man didn't have any legs, got burnt, and never stopped. And I, uh, I've watched Larry's video at home, and uh, my kids have watched it, my grandkids have watched it, wife watched it. Uh, Larry taught me about make-a-wish, uh, giving back. We give a lot, we try to give a lot back in our community. Uh, we try to help people. Uh, I think that's what God's given you. Your ability to have a good life and a healthy life, that's what you should do. And Larry Kessler has brought that awareness to me. And uh, his, his, his pictures stand in my polling shop. And he'll, he'll stand in my polling shop forever. And uh, he was one of the best men I've ever met in my life. And, and I miss him. And I think we all miss him. And I really appreciate this award. Thank you.